And now to that breaking news. Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto calling for full investigations into Monday's protests in East Liberty. There have been questions about the force that police used to control protesters. Andy Sheehan got some answers regarding whether tear gas was used, and he has the latest from police and the mayor's office. Andy. Christine, the mayor initially defended police actions that night, but now says he has serious concerns. And he has asked the Office of Municipal Investigations to get to the bottom of it. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. A tense standoff. Ignited by a smoke canister and a panic stampede back down Center Avenue. Nine police officers injured and two demonstrators leaving a litany of questions. Who initiated the mayhem? Was that smoke or tear gas? And did police shoot rubber bullets? Later that night, the mayor vowed to get answers. And I will be fair in that judgment. I go into this with only one concern, the safety of the people of Pittsburgh. Today, he called on the Office of Municipal Investigations to conduct a thorough probe. Quote, for the past 36 hours, I have studied best practices of less lethal crowd dispersion. I've read countless comments on social media and viewed firsthand video, photographs, and accounts. Without question, there is a difference of opinion about what happened that day and the appropriateness of the actions of the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police. Demonstrators say police caused the panic, but Monday night police say they were under assault and repeatedly asked them to disperse. But instead, people within the group continued to throw rocks at our officers and water bottles. And at that point in time, um, the tactical commander gave authorization for us to use smoke. It wasn't just smoke. It was tear gas. Police contend they used benign smoke at the scene, but today said they used tear gas that night at other locations. Protester Nicole Ruley says that is not true. I literally was in the fetal position on the street up there with bright red face, tears, snot, everything. I had to have milk poured on me because I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die. The demonstrators also say police shot them with rubber bullets. But today, a police spokesperson said the bureau used bean bags and sponge rounds during these protests. Now, the mayor has also asked the Citizen Police Review Board, the American Civil Liberties Union, the NAACP, and the U.S. Attorney to conduct their own investigation and to make recommendations about best practices in the future. Reporting live at the City County Building, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.